almost there at the Corby Rock. If you can see that small um, towering thing over there, that's the Corby Rock. Have to pay around 10,000 uh, drums and she, the driver is going to take us from the Edgemead scene to Corbier up and back to Yerevan so I think it's we got a very good uh, deal with that able to do this hike from the Corvira but uh, this spring it's so nice to just climb up here and get a full view of the Mount Ararat it's a good hike all the way down there and then you go up from here I recommend coming here in May because you can view Corvera up beautifully and clearly. The skies are blue and the weather is nice. down the dungeon where St. Gregory was imprisoned for 13 years. Now we are going to go down there where he was imprisoned for 13 years. We're going to go down here. In the city. And the best things are in life are free. Are free. Ang Kasi nga dungeon. Alam mo ba kung ano ang dungeon? Hindi. Dungeon is one way. Look. It looks like a cave. But. We are not even sure if this has light when Gregory the Illuminator was imprisoned here. And we are going to check out the other dungeon on the other side just to make sure that we are on the right dungeon. This is where St. Gregory was imprisoned for 13 years and imagine how deep this dungeon is.
this is how the dungeon looks like. And imagine being in prison here for 13 years. How would you feel? So, St. Gregory was imprisoned here at Korvera for 13 years for spreading Christianity into Armenia and having this view the view of Mount Ararat that is so beautiful and being imprisoned is such a punishment. Like I can't imagine being imprisoned in this beautiful place for 13 years, not seeing what it looks like outside, like being in the dark for 13 years. But the beautiful thing is that uh, because of St. Gregory the Illuminator, Christianity was spread all over Armenia, making Armenia the first nation to become a Christian nation in the world. They are the first Christian nation in the world. Now on the land of Newa here in Yerevan and we are on the top of the cascade and Mount Ararat is going to rest and that's how we are going to end our day three of the five day hundred dollar challenge. For dinner, we are going to end our day here at Tumanyan where we got our lunch earlier and she had the same thing. We had cheese, some bread and some uh, lentil soup and she had some Filipino tasting um, kind rice. of food. Yeah, rice and um, vegetable something and something new. It's, it tastes a little bit our Filipino. Yeah. And this cost me... Now mine, bread, a soup, and cheese, and four season juice, uh, I paid, guess what, I paid how much? I paid only a thousand, yes, I paid only a thousand drops. And that concludes our day three of the five day hundred US dollar challenge. See you tomorrow! like this video give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more click on the subscribe button down below and always remember to set your troubles to where your heart is and I will see you on the next video happy troubles everyone